back guys we're back for another dokkan battle video today we're gonna look at the last of the fusions awakenings now janembu of the five does look the most promising to me i think i mean i i'm definitely sure that we're gonna go in here and his stats are gonna look a very underwhelming but um janembu is a defensive stacker so immediately that does give him some value on some teams right um, he's on what? Fusion, Transformation Boost, Majin Power, and Crossover. Him being on Majin Power could be good because Majin Power is not exactly the biggest team ever. So this guy looking like a nice defensive option on this team. And basically a team full of attacking units, which is good. Because again, Janembu right now, he stacks defense. This guy's getting an easy A in about a week and a half, right? Um, and then he's got a... Okay, okay. So you look at him, right? He's got 100% attack and defense start a turn. 30% attack and defense with each extreme class ally attacking in the same turn. For the most part, probably wouldn't be too much of an issue outside of, like, the fusion team. I guess fusion and crossover. But transformation boost and Majin power, you could easily just have full uh, extreme class rotations. Um, then he gets a medium chance. That'd be a 30% chance of evading enemies' attacks. And then finally, he lowers the attack enemies' attack by 30%. If he EZAs and that jumps up to a high chance to dodge, this guy's going to be really good. Um, because it's like he's going to be a super battle road killer and he's a defensive stacker. So he's going to be really good in long events too. So this Janembu is actually going to be pretty good. Um, and then lowering the attack to enemies attack by 30%. Um, the only unfortunate thing is that's only going to be a one turn debuff. But this is a character that you could put in slot one debuff that enemy and then the enemy is debuffed for the entire rotation right because the only thing that can be a bit unfortunate um, about some of these debuffs in that fashion is like it would be like a floating character and the debuff would basically only be there to protect that one character but janembu is good enough defensively that you can and probably will run him in slot one so that's good so let's go and take a look here so he's at 140k defense right there certainly not the craziest after he EZAs, obviously it's going to go way up his stats are going to go up you know, he's going to be, you know, in the 15,000 attack range, 11,000 defense range. Like, he's going to be looking a lot better. I mean, we do have him in a pretty good setup right here with second form cell right away. Um, links are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Infinite Regeneration, Berserker, great. Fuse Fighter, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. I mean, Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Infinite Regeneration. You guys know who that shit works good with. Kid Boo. Kid Boo's got all those. Infinite Regeneration, uh, Brutal Beatdown, and Majin. So it's like, you know, you could put this guy in slot one, um, you know, towards the start of, you know, some of this difficult content and stuff like that. And you, you, Janembu slot one, Kibu in slot two is going to be devastating, right? Um, now, the one thing, of course, is that Janembu is not rocking um, big bad bosses. But, like, if you're running, like, the Majin power team or transformation boost, most of those teams are definitely filled up with big bad bosses characters. Um, but this is good. I, I, again, I'm looking at Janembu, and I do see him as actually a unit that potentially could help SCR Kid Boo, which is good because SCR Kid Boo, um, the weakness for him it is not in his unit. It's in the units around him, right? It's it's the LR Janemba problem, the LR Rose Goku Black problem. Like, villain characters have these issues. LR Int Cell's got this problem where... They, they don't have the perfect partners. Whereas, like, you get this flood of, like, you know, super class Saiyan characters. You know, the Super Saiyan 2 transform into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. How many partners does he have? 80? 100? Like, characters that are sharing, like, 5 out of 5 links and shit like that? Or, like, 5 out of 7 links and shit like that? Um, <laughs> quite the jump, huh? It's up to 263k right here. So, again, that's quite the jump. This should be a pretty good turn for Janembu. Um, again, once Majin gets activated, right? Once Infinite Regeneration is activated. Jan like, dude, Janembu, I feel like, is going to be really good after his easy. I like Janembu. I actually like Janembu already, right? Um, I mean, you know, 30% chance to dodge does not make me wet. Like, I don't go crazy for that. But it's like, you know, you go ahead and, and you know, flip that around a little bit where he's got 50% chance to dodge instead. And then this boy is stacking defense. He's definitely not going to be like a damaging character, but he could link well with some of these boo characters. He's going to be healing with infinite regeneration. He's got the attack debuff to help him in super battle road. And it's like, you know, 
with this character, I could see a very clear purpose for where we're going to use him, right? You look at a unit like poor Chow Man, he sucks cock. There's nowhere to use. He's good nowhere. There's no, there's nowhere you're root, you're using Chow Man. It's just, it just ain't happening. Chow Man is not getting used. He's just horrible. Like, even his EZA has got to do a lot to make him, like, an, a legitimate option. But it's like, some of these other units, like, again, Janembu is already looking pretty good. Um, you know, like, a unit like Kuliza and Selza. I think these characters, after their EZAs, you know, I think that they're actually going to be in some pretty good positions um, to look good and, like, really be able to perform well. All right, what is Janembu's defense up to? 300k. Look at him. Janembu, man. Yeah, like, I, again, when I was looking at these characters, Janembu was the one that was that really, I felt like, was going to be the best. Um, I really do like when characters have defensive stacking as well. I know it's like, oh, my, you know, there's so many characters that could do it, and blah, 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 blah. Yep, true, true, true. But, like, Dokkan is always going to be giving us long uh, events as a form of difficult content. So when characters that come out that are brand new have defensive stacking, at least they can do something, right? Like, that's the point. At least they'll be able to, to help in some possible way. Whereas, like, again, like, Chow Man and Tiencha and some of these units, it's just like, they're just like DOA. They're, they're actually dead on arrival, not going to be able to help out, like, in nearly any single way, right? So um, I'm definitely looking forward to Janembu, right? Again, a character... That's going to be able to... I, I could see myself running him a lot um, in Battlefield, Super Battle Road, and again, in long events. Like some Infinite Triangle History Sages, you know, Legendary Vegeta events, some of these different sages. Um, I think Janembu here is going to actually be able to help out, again, quite a bit. Um, I think he's actually going to be able to be a, a pretty solid unit to sort of help out a bunch of these teams, right? So... Um, let me know what you guys are thinking about Janembu. I mean, you guys know me. I really do like these sort of, like, defensive characters like this. I, In my brain, it feels like there's way more sort of, like, offensive characters. Like, characters who are doing a lot of damage are contributing in that way. And I feel like characters like this, like Janembu, who's, like, a strong defensive character, who's strong defensively in all content, I feel like that's a bit more rare um, to come across, right? 350k right there. I mean, again, this guy is going to look good next to STR Kid Boo. Like, imagine this is STR Kid Boo instead, shooting out, you know, 10 million attack stats. You know, once he has a bunch of those links active, once he gets his active skill and shit like that. So, you know, we have Janembu basically probably incapable of taking damage, chilling in slot one. And then we have Kid Boo uh, going to be one of the, the harder hitters, you know, once he gets his build up going. Um, it's just going to be pretty crazy, right? So, uh, I think Janembu, him getting his, like, you know, awakening right here is perfectly well-timed um, to match up with Kid Boo. But keep in mind, I still think it's really stupid. I think all these awakened characters, like, how good... They, they should have just had, like, been how good their EZAs are with the awakenings. I, I see no reason why they had to immediately EZA these characters. I always feel like that's just the stupidest thing in the world um, when Dokkan is doing that, right? Like, dropping characters with immediate EZAs. Because, like, why not awaken them now and then just give them their Dokkan Awakenings? Or is it, why not Dokkan awaken them now and then just give them their EZAs in a year, right? It would have made these characters much more relevant in a year's time. You know, that would have been, in a year, an extra buff for crossover and fusion and, you know, transformation boost, Majin Power. You know, Transformation Boost is getting buffed every five seconds, but Majin Power, Fusion, and Crossover is not, right? That would have been a nice handy buff that those teams um, would have been able to get, you know, later on down the line, right? And especially for villain characters where we just see villain characters added into the game far more infrequently um, than we're seeing hero characters get added into the game. All right, so what is Janembu at on this turn in terms of his defense? 500k so there you guys go um there is janembu he is pretty good i'd have to say um i i, I could see myself getting a lot of use out of this janembu unit man um especially because he's going to be even better in like a week and a half's time right so um let me know what you guys think of janembu here um of his attack debuff good for super battle road attack uh defensive stacking good for long events 
Um, and then his dodging, good for any events where you're actually able to get dodges in. Again, I actually like him quite a bit. Um, let me know what you guys think of Janembu. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time.